If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt the question on your own before listening on. We know from Faraday's law of induction that the following equation holds true. We have the magnitude of the induced EMF equaling the magnitude of the change in flux divided by a time interval. Now the time interval is easy because that was given to us. It was stated, it's the change in flux that'll be a little more challenging to come up with. We know that flux is equal to the magnetic field multiplied by the area of the loop times the cosine of an angle. The angle will be between the normal, which is this imaginary line that projects through the center of the loop that is perpendicular to the loop, and the magnetic field. So again, the angle is between the normal and the magnetic field. The magnetic field is indicated by the green vectors in both pictures. In the first picture, we can see that the angle between the magnetic field and the normal is going to be zero degrees. Whereas in the second picture, that angle is going to be 180 degrees because the normal and magnetic field are pointing in opposite directions. We'll also note that initially the magnetic field had a strength of 0.3 Tesla, whereas in the final situation, the magnetic field was only 0.2 Tesla. So we can easily calculate the initial and final magnetic fluxes here. Notice for the area, we have used pi r squared since the loop is presumed to be circular. When you calculate these, you should get an initial magnetic flux of 0 0.0848 Weber and a final magnetic flux of negative 0 0.0565 Weber. Now that we have those values, we can plug into the formula because a change in flux is simply the final flux minus the initial flux. And when you plug in the known values and compute this, you should get approximately 0 0.094 volts. Or if you wanted to convert that into millivolts, you can move the decimal over three places to the right and that would give you approximately 94 millivolts. Either answer, of course, would be acceptable. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address listed on the screen.